talking about Star Trek's LeVar Burton, a.k.a. Jordy the Engineer, our favorite man in a visor from the next generation. He said something along the lines of, I didn't get laid on set because of racism. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Shane, what yeah. the hell is going on here? <laughs> Well, he, he was doing an interview with uh, TrekMovie.com, I guess. Uh, and they were talking to him about his plausible return to Star Trek Picard, like actually being on Picard. And of course, an insulting romance storyline on TNG. Uh, you know, lately, Jordy LeVar Burton has been uh, a guest host on Jeopardy. Did a pretty good job on it, too. Um, but they were asking him, you know, hey, listen, uh, are you going to be on Picard. Well, it was confirmed that he will not be on season two. Um, and there was some speculation that he would see him in the future. Uh, but now he seems a little bit less sure about what's going to happen. He's like, I'm not psychic. Look, I love Star Trek. I love my castmates. Castmates. Here what I, here's what I'll say about Picard. I do believe that whatever else is going on in his life, in the storytelling that they're engaging in now, he still knows these people. It is certainly feasible, if not plausible, that they should show up at some point during his current adventure, we'll see. But it sounds like he's a little more irritated, you know, that he's, uh, he doesn't know. They're can definitely I, not talking to him about it. Can I interpret that, guys? Yeah. Right? Oh, I'm sorry. Look, look, I'm not psychic. <laughs> I, lo I love Star Trek. And I especially love that sweet, sweet paycheck. And the people <laughs> I work with are pretty cool too, I guess. Here's what I'll say about Picard. He definitely knows Jordy. Jordy's definitely alive. Okay. He he definitely hangs out with them. And they just they just haven't shown me yet. But it's it's, it's possible. It's po it's possible they're gonna ask me any day because Jordy is definitely in that future. Okay. That's it. We'll see. That's what he said. Very good. Thank you for that translation. The truth. Yeah, he wants the check, bro. Of course, truth, bro. Secret. That's good money. Yeah. And we want the member berry, so get him on there. Yeah, why not? So the interview turned out uh, turned to his time on Star Trek: The Next Generation because that's the last important thing that he did. Oh well, there he is in the he's, he's in a, on the set with Michael Dorn and the chick from the the main girl. Yeah, we did a couple stories where they visited the set of a card. Right, interesting. Okay. Uh, the interview turned to his time on Next Gen, where he described Jordy's visor as iconic, pointing out that young people, male and female, put headbands over their eyes and play Jordy LaForge. I, I admit to doing that at least once. I did it. Um, and it is proof positive that it is an iconic image. But when asked what he would like to see changed about the character, Burton was definitive saying he'd get laid. When it was pointed out, <laughs> when it was pointed out that it was weird how Data the Android got more action than Jordy, Burton, Burton didn't hold back. He said, weird? It's insulting. Whether they are aware of it or not, those white men who wrote the show had an unconscious bias that was on display to me and to other people of color. Their blind spot is revealed in the fact that a black man was never was the, a black man was never successful at one of the basic and most. My wife says there's a lid for every pot. It's true. The idea that Jordy never found a lid for his pot is ludicrous. It's preposterous. And it's insulting. Okay. First off, Jordy, calm down. <laughs> well, dude, I mean, it's... Calm down there, buddy. Hey, uh, yeah. your, your, your cast member, your castmate, Michael Dorn, got plenty of action. And not just in Next Generation, but in literally every other version of Trek he was in, the guy was just getting his. Yeah, so yeah, that is so true. Maybe so, your yeah. character had no game, bro. Well, yeah, because they that's true, right? Maybe they didn't think of his character as as you know Yeah, maybe because, your character was an engineer, you're a nerd. And Michael well, Dorn was a tough warrior that slayed chicks. Well, Worf ends up with Troy at some point during next gen. Yeah. See, he's, um, he snags her from the first from the first officer. Right. So, and, and of course, Michael Dorn is Klingon, but he's also an African-American. Right. Um, 
you know, so I'm not sure. Now he did, he does say here an unconscious bias. So he's not saying outright, outright, they screwed over his character intentionally. So that's good. I, I, I um, just think that this is hype. This is hype. What's the word? It sounds like hyperbolic. An is that the right sound? Yeah. Is that the right word? Hyperbolic? I mean, there was only so many female characters to go around. Let's be honest. You know, yeah. there's only, I mean, they did give him that moment where he's standing, you know, when, when, Q came in and put two good looking girls in his, you know, in his arms. Right. Yeah. You know, so there's that. And then of course, this is the one, the, the Leah Brahms episode. Yeah. This, the word okay. is hyperbolic, hyper exaggerated. That's what that is. So he says, uh, yeah. So, right. So Burton specifically felt the storyline where Jordy had a holographic romance with a copy of the real Dr. Lee Brahms booby trap was problematic. He said, and that's part of the problem, right? In their attempts to be cute, they inadvertently created an aspect of Jordy's character that is very uncomfortable. Well, see, I would beg to disagree. Yeah, entirely. Whole, because it showed it showed a totally different element, a totally different level to his character. He he was able to, we saw a totally different side to him where he could fall in love with somebody, you know, and and have this weird, this kind of I almost said weird. The whole have this relationship sort of with a with a holodeck character that he never intended to have that sort of relationship with. Talk about this. This is actually super forward thinking because nowadays there are plenty of men that are falling in love with fake women on on Instagram or OnlyFans or whatever. Right. Right. And they yeah, literally right. they are literally absolutely in love with these people. Because of the creation, not the actual person. So it's not the right. actual Leia or Leah, whatever. It's the creation. It's the, it's the, it's the hologram version of that person on OnlyFans or whatever. This right. is happening now in real time to smart people. Smart people that have enough money to throw thousands of dollars at it every month. Well, and what's brilliant about it is they do this episode where he, you know, basically him and this hologram figure out how to save the ship, right? And then. The following episode, or closely thereafter, the real Lee Brahms comes to the ship, and basically it, it, his thing is uncovered that he had did this thing with, with with a with with a, with a holographic version of him. Nothing inappropriate, um, but there was they worked well together, and there was maybe some feelings on his side. Right? Yeah, he did. He didn't even he very didn't, natural. He didn't even have sex with the hologram. Let no. Me let me tell you something, guys. Okay. <laughs> don't 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 admit it here. I don't want to get into it here, but here's the deal. Okay. Let's be real. If hologram technology existed, there'd be no podcast. <laughs> you hear that future podcast? You're in no, trouble. There'd be no podcast. I would just be I I'd be super dehydrated in my own personal hologram. All the holodeck. That's what that would happen. You know, what LeVar doesn't realize is that one of the things that I like about Jordy, and I, I like Jordy's character a lot. He was he was a character I really enjoyed on Next Gen. Uh, one of the things he doesn't realize is that this kind of goody two-shoes aspect of him is what I liked about his character. I liked that he was, you could always count on him doing the right thing. Right. You know, he was never going, he was never, Jordy was never going to, compromise himself yeah he was data's conscience Conscious. he was data's conscience yeah. he was he was the ship's conscious conscious right. he was the engineer the heart you know, of he, the ship bro he the was engineer. right he's the heart and soul of star trek his character is and for him to want it who have wanted like you know a booty call or something or or to be cool on set it ruins kind of what was great about his character so i'm glad that that never happened to him and i'm sorry that you had to be uh, a, a Star Trek eunuch. Dude, imagine how uncomfortable uh, Marina Sirtis is feeling right now. He's like, yo, I just wanted to get laid, bro. Okay? Everyone, <laughs> well, got... everyone was hooking up with, with Troy and I got nothing. <laughs> nothing. She's like, oh my god. <laughs> you got you got her uh, Marina Sirtis and Gates McFadden looking at each other going, how many how many of us And if you there? haven't you know, already Tasha subscribed to our channel, you know, please do so now. Do? Right. Oh, wrong one. I was playing our subscribe. And if you game. haven't already. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> How appropriate was that? How appropriate. Jordy, Jordy wanted to get with somebody. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. I think he's being just, I don't know if he's just being an old dude who's, you know, I mean, he's got an iconic character. 
He should yeah. be happy about that. You He's know, be stoked. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Picard definitely knows Jordy. Uh-huh. You hear that, guys? <laughs> yeah, I mean, what other main character got action? I mean, um, uh, let's see. Troy, Riker did. Troy, Beverly. Um, and so I'm thinking of the dudes. Oh, the dudes. Picard, Riker. Picard did. Worf. Yeah. Worf Data. Did. Data did. I'm yeah, sorry. He did. Everybody but Jordy. <laughs> Let me think. Man, yeah, Miles was married. <clears throat> Miles and married. Uh, oh, even even that. Uh, what's the guy's name? The, the hologram, holodeck guy. Uh, Scott. Damn it, Buckley. No. Bro- oh, Barkley. Barkley. Even Barkley got laid, right? Uh, did he? No. I think it was holograms, though. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't count. It doesn't count. <laughs> doesn't count. Listen, yeah. So you know what. Uh, Lavar, let it be. It's okay. It's okay that you never got laid on yeah, Star you're Trek. Fine. You're fine. Yeah. Let us know what you guys think. Should Jordy have gotten some some hologram? Strange. Strange. <laughs> let us know in the comment section below what you think, or uh, or or was or was they the writers just so racist they couldn't let him get any action? Wait, wait. subconsciously biased, uncautious, uncautious. Thanks for watching. To see the full conversation, become a member of the podcast family. Use the link in the description below or go to our channel and click the join button. Select your tier and we'll see you at the next show.